three things I hate about my minivan camper van. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Jamie here, Nomadic Rev. Welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? If you don't hit the like button, what are you waiting for? If you haven't commented, what are you waiting for? So in this video, what I thought I would talk about are three things I, I said hate, that's kind of a strong word. Three things I don't like about my minivan camper van. Those of you who haven't seen a tour of my camper van, um, you can find it up here, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but I thought I would talk, get real with you guys. And here's the thing, I'm gonna share the three things that I don't like about the minivan camper van. But actually, uh, I'm gonna have a fourth one but I didn't include it in the list because I think there's a way that I can solve it and it's not the end of the world. Also, I was exploring a really cool state park. So I have a little bonus footage for you at the end of the video that you're going to want to see. So stay tuned to the end. So let's talk about the three things I don't like about my minivan camper van. Number one. There's no bathroom. Don't worry. I'm not really going. That's right. Number one is the biggest drawback, which is no bathroom. Now, here's the thing. Those of you who are subscribers of my channel, who have followed along on this journey with me, you know that I do have a porta potty, one of those little camping potties, whatever you call them. Um, it works pretty well, um, but there are just times where you're out and about, you're exploring, you're in an unknown area where you can't find a good public bathroom. That's happened to me a few times since I uh, started down this journey of having a camper van. And it's just nice, it would be nice, I should say, to have a legitimate bathroom. Um, I used to have a, a camper back in the day. I'm hoping to get one again in the future when things line up financially. But it was a hybrid camper. It was pretty light. It towed very easily with my uh, Sequoia. And I remember we did a couple road trips with that thing. The, one of the nicest things about having a camper behind you is you had your bed and you had your bathroom wherever you went. So that's that's number one for me. I wish that I had facilities. Number two, there's no air conditioning. Yes, this summer has been brutal. And I wish that I had a air conditioner designated for the back for camping, for hanging out. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the, the air conditioner in this van works great. Um, it blows very cold in the, it has the, the rear control as well. So if the van is running, no problem. I mean, there is plenty of cool air in the van. Uh, I've been back there with the van running, but obviously I don't want to keep the van running all the time. So I wish that there was a secondary type of air conditioning unit. Now, I'm not too worried about it because obviously um, being in Minnesota, it's not very long before we'll have snow again. So that'll be nice, at least colder weather. So, But it would be nice to have a, a secondary unit. I've seen some other people on YouTube who have figured out a way to put a um, like an air conditioner window size air conditioner in the back um that would be really really cool and then number three no refrigerator yeah i i didn't 
realize how much I would want a, a, some sort of refrigerator. Now I understand that you can have a cooler. I have this one in here right now that I can put ice in or an ice pack. I've got another one in the back. It's a different type. It's one of those soft sides. And so there's plenty of ways to, you know, put um, food in a cooler, throw some ice, get an ice pack, whatever you want to call it. But it would be nice to have something for that was didn't need ice. And I know there's those types of units out there that'll, you know, like plug into like a cigarette lighter. One, um, or maybe I could use it on my Jackery. So if you know of a fairly inexpensive type of cooler refrigerator like that, um, leave it in the comment, leave a link in the comments below or the name or whatever, because I would love to perhaps get one of those. Now, that's kind of a luxury thing. Um, that's why I put it number three, because the bathroom and the air conditioner would be way more important than that. Again, you can do coolers, you can have ice in there. But my thought process is um, if I could find something fairly inexpensive that would plug in either to my Jackery or into one of the outlets here, that would be amazing. All right, and my fourth thing is, and it's really not that big a deal. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I think I have a way to come up with a solution is I'd like to have some sort of sink in the van um i was out and about at a state park today again i'll show you some footage here so make sure you stay to the end um ate lunch was a beautiful spot on the river um i had wrongly assumed that all the bathrooms in the state park were closed so i washed dishes i have a little system i should do a video about that of how i wash dishes did i say clothes i should do a video of how i wash clothes uh i did it again I should do a video of how I wash my dishes. <laughs> um, but I found out after the fact, the bathroom right by me was actually open. So I could have just gone in the bathroom and washed it. But it was still a good run through for me with my system in here. Um, I kind of have a creative way of washing dishes because I have multi-purpose use. And uh, so that wasn't bad. So anyways, those are my top three uh, things I don't like about the minivan, camper van, camper van, minivan, whatever you want to say it. If you have uh, thoughts, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the, the thumbs up button. If you hated this video, hit the thumbs down button. Tell me. But uh, here's the bonus footage of just some exploring I did today. Thanks for your support, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Almost forgot, if you want to get cash back when you buy gas, groceries, or go out to eat, check out the link in the description of the video. See you next time.